Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making hamburger steaks with onion gravy. All right guys, I'm starting out here with about two and a half pounds of 80-20 ground beef, or like we call it around here, hamburger. I'm going to start seasoning it. I'm going to start by cracking in one egg. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of diced up garlic. And we're going to go for about a teaspoon of everything. I'm putting in a teaspoon of garlic salt. Now if you can't have or don't like salt, use garlic powder, granulated garlic in place of that. I'm using about a teaspoon of onion powder. And guys, this is uh, uh, something I made with a side dish I did and one of the viewers asked could I do a video on that, so that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And you can season your, your hamburgers any way you like. A teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put in about, let's say about a half a cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumb. It's going to help bind it together. Now I'm going to get in here and mix all this together. And once I get this mixed together and get my frying pan heated up, and we're ready to start frying these, I'll bring you guys back. Okay guys, now that I have my hamburger all mixed up and my skillet starting to warm up, I'm going to take some of my ground beef and I'm going to take about the size of a, a lemon or a small, like a pool bowl or so. I'm going to flatten it down and you want to put a little bump in the middle with your thumb. That'll help keep your burgers from curling up as they fry. I'm going to get them in here, brown them up. I'll probably have to do it in two batches. Then after I get them all browned up, I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, now that all my hamburgers are browned up and I pulled them out for just now, I drained the excess grease out of the skillet. I'm going to add in one large onion that I sliced up. And we're just going to saute this for a few minutes until it starts to soften up and take on the flavors of the hamburgers that were browned in there. Alright guys, now that my onion sauteed for a few minutes and it's starting to soften up, I'm going to add in about a cup of beef broth. We'll be adding more in later, but we'll just go for a cup for now. And I'm going to scrape up some of this goodness on the bottom of the pan because that makes flavor. And you just want to work your spatula around in there and uh, get all that goodness scraped up. And this is going to make a really delicious gravy in the end, guys. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm going to take my hamburgers. And they're not cooked through, they're just browned. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay them in a skillet. Just arrange them around in there. And what I'm going to do, the ones on the bottom are really hot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this. I'm going to let this cook at a slow simmer for about 15 minutes, about as long as it takes for me to make my mashed potatoes for them to cook. Okay guys, now that my hamburger steaks are all browned up and I pulled them aside, I drained off as much of the grease as I could get out of this. There's a little bit left in there, but that won't hurt nothing. But I saved the, the little bits and stuff that was in the little bit of broth there. I'm going to dump the rest of my beef broth in here, which is about three cups. I could probably go for two, but I'm just going to go ahead and use all three because I won't have any use for this leftover beef broth in the container, so I might as well just use it up now. I'm going to turn my heat up to get this up to a gentle boil. And I'm going to season this up just a little bit. I'm going to add in a little bit of accent. You could also use a, a little bit of salt. I'm going to go for about a half of a teaspoon, maybe a quarter. And I have a cornstarch slurry here I made. It's two tablespoons of cornstarch. And it's about four tablespoons of water. I'm going to go ahead and stir that in. Now I'm going to allow this to come to a gentle boil and boil for a few minutes till it thickens up. And it shouldn't take long with that cornstarch in there. Alright, my gravy's nice and thickened up. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Guys, I also made some mashed potatoes to go with this and some peas on the side. And Dexter just woke up. He smells the food. Try one of my hamburger steaks. Really tender. 
off season. That's really good, guys. Let's try a little bit of that onion gravy with the mashed potatoes. That's delicious. I love comfort food, guys, and that's it at its best. All right, there you have it, guys. Hamburger steaks with onion gravy. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.